Welcome friends, in this one, this is the 1997 AP Calculus BC, question number 5, from the multiple choice section, question. So it says if f of x is x minus 1, 2 to the 3 halves, plus e to the x minus 2 over 2, then f prime at 2 has some value, as given. So let's differentiate this whole thing, it's going to be the derivative, as follows, of, let's do it with brackets here, x minus 1, raised to the 3 halves, plus this, we can separate that, 2 in the bottom, and to 1 half out front, so it becomes this, 1 half e raised to the x minus 2. When you differentiate, you can distribute the derivative operator to each piece individually. So it's going to be, in other words, the following then. You're going to bring the 3 halves down, x minus 1, raised here to the 3 halves, minus 1. For the second piece, plus 1 half e raised to the x minus 2. We have to use a chain rule for the part that says e to the x minus 2. Because x minus 2 is a function, that's the inside, and e is the outside. In other words, you would have to then multiply this by the derivative of that x minus 2 still, you see? And we kind of continue down below here. Next piece then would be 3 halves. This would be here, x minus 1. This would be then 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2 plus 1 half, and then e raised to the x minus 2. The derivative of x minus 2 is just 1. Which then lastly would give us 3 halves, and then x minus 1 raised to the 1 half, which is the square root, basically, plus this 1 half of e raised to the x minus 2, x minus 2, and then we just have to evaluate this. So remember that this represents the following. This is f prime of x. Let's just evaluate this at 2 now. So f prime of 2 would be equal to 3 halves, and this is here, 2 minus 1 raised to the 1 half, plus 1 half, and then e raised to the 2 minus 2. Let's work this out piece by piece. So this would be 3 halves. This would be 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 raised to the 1 half is 1. Plus, this is now 1 half. This is e raised to the 0. Continue. This is now 3 halves times 1, which is 3 halves, plus e to the 0 is 1. 1 half times 1 is 1 half. So it looks like this, which means you're going to have at the end, therefore, Basically, 4 over 2, rather, which then would be equal to 2. In other words, the correct answer is choice C, and that is it. So thank you, friends. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. I will see you in another video.